Okay. Okay. This pen fails the Pierre Gustafson skip test. And I think the reason it's failing it is the 51 nib issue is that it has a feed underneath and then this big shell of a collector on top which applies pressure downward on the on the nib so if you're it might sort of keep the nib condensed if that's right compressed is the word I want so it wrote without the shell on and now it's not writing take the shell off beautiful nib so sometimes I find a, a different shell that works fine but this one I sort of want this one to work so let's see if I can find a nib well, I just, I just put away, let's see if I can walk in my house. Which one of these are blue? That's the first thing I have to figure out. the ends I'm only talking about the shells do I have a shell in these shells that I've got here that will function a 21 part. Let's just clear all the ends. Gray, don't need gray. Don't need barrels. Demi barrel, demi barrel. And okay, I've got all of these shells. This is a 21 I don't need. Okay, let's see. Can one of these work in place of the one that I've got? Do you think I could make that happen? Of course, which is the one that was originally on it? I don't know, but I think it's that one. Or it could be this one. Now well, let's just try this one. This one, as you can see, screws on, but the threading is off, so I have to rotate the nib 90 degrees counterclockwise. This is working better than the one I had. Should I 
just call this a fix. Will it pass the Pierre Gustafson skip test? It's a very, very fine nib. So there shouldn't be any issues with it. Okay, I'm taking this one off. This is going in the box. The empty box is just this. So that's the best one so far. Let's try this one. See what this one does. See, this one doesn't write at all. It's pressing down on the nib. This one. Go back to the one that I found to see if that works. That's the one we're going to keep. We'll just keep that one. Okay, these little nibs will go in here. These will go in here. Just waiting for me to get off my fat ass. I haven't looked in this drawer for a long time. Still seems a little stingy, but maybe it's just because it's a really, really fine nib. What are your thoughts? Write your answers below. Okay. Let's go back. Fifty one. Yeah, it does seem a little something's is it the pen or the repair or the nib or the ink or is it my foul mood I'm in? be so many th factors. <laughs> Hello, Ms. Marilyn. It's 69 and you're freezing. Well, I don't know what it was here. It was kind of chilly, but I know it was certainly not freezing.
else is that mysterious blue ink. Yeah, I think also this, this one is just It's just clogged. So let's see if I can do the Ms. Marilyn Darling thing. <laughs> you would not die. You'd have to put on you'd have to put on some clothing. Okay, I'm gonna take this out, see if I can do this. Well, this is clogged for one thing, this tube. So that could be a problem. My lips are now completely covered in blue ink. So this is clogged. So how do I unclog this little tube? With a little wire. You're going to clean this bin, you're going to have a heart attack. Oh, please. Such drama. Ms. Marilyn. My feet bump into everything. Okay, here is a tube that is not clogged. Put this back. No idea which way was up. Put this in. Screw this on. I have to rotate it. So that's the top. Put this back on. Now, let's see if I can I think the sack on this needs to be repaired, but I don't want to do that. Right now, still soaking up a drop of ink. It's not filling it as correctly as it should, but it's filling it enough. Done. Yay. <sighs> okay. Now what do I do? I'm 
need to drink some water. Perfect. Oh, chip out of the cap there. Not quite so perfect. Marilyn, listen. Eat your food. Eat your food. <clears throat> Marilyn, I didn't actually clean a pen. I replaced the part that was clogged. So don't get your heart your hopes up. I do clean pens sometimes. But I don't clean them every time I use them, which I'm sure causes all sorts of trauma. Anyway, what I did today was <clears throat> selected four four fifty ones that were all black or blue, dark blue, and I filled them with ink and I did drawings with them, trying to decipher whether what what the subtle differences are among them. And I don't know if I figured that out. This needs to be moved a little bit more. One of the things with 51's R is that there's the shell presses down or can press down on the nib and the feed sort of presses up on the nib so when they're both doing that the tines sometimes are sort of shut kept closed by the feed the sec section shell. So sometimes if I have a nib I really like, I have to find a shell that is slightly machined or made differently that it doesn't do that. This one is writing very wet. And it's probably because it was writing dry before. And now it's writing wet because of the uh, fact that that breather hole is now letting air in from the outside world. I 
and I don't, I'd rather have them be wet and feel like I'm not, the ink isn't flowing at all. So this will join my other three that I filled and I will keep trying them out. To go chopping, go chopping or shopping. I need to go deal with a uh, email. So talk to you later.